Welcome to the DNC Real Estate Show. I'm C. I'm D. Hey, and today we're going to talk about market trends going on in the Denver metropolitan area, mm -hmm. specifically what's going on with uh, new construction. But before we get to that, David, give us some statistics on what's going on in what's listed and what's been sold here recently in Denver. Well, right now we currently have on the residential single family listings, we've got 515 actors listed in Denver County. So I went to Denver County to make it a little bit more easier. Okay. With all the stuff, sell areas we have. 260 of them are FHA approved. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, out of the condos and townhomes, which was next, we have 413 of them uh, that's active. Okay. Which is not that many, considering how big Denver County is. Numbers are low. And we have 158 of them are FHA approved. That's still below 50%. That's even lower. <laughs> right. So, <laughs> and you know how tough it is to get it sometime in, the, in, the, in those condos yes, when sir. it's not an FHA approved uh, home. But for the ones that's more affordable, you know, between zero and 200,000, yeah, yeah, zero to 200,000, guess how many of them? Can't be that it, many. It, well, it's 106 that's active between zero and 200,000, which wow. is quite a bit. Yeah, that's surprising. But 13 of them are FHA approved. <laughs> so that's 10% of them that's FHA approved. Which, Bring your cash uh, buyers. Uh, yes. <laughs> cash buyers, you, you got some conventional ones that, you know, that you need to, if they got the right bank, right, whatever. Sure. They have some that you can do conventional, but they, you know, you got to go through a lot of hoops, to say the least. So we kind of want to talk a little bit about today about the, you know, the lack of inventory and in regards to the home construction and why, you know, why is the inventory is, I, I think it has a whole lot to do with the, the baby boomers, which sure. is kind of, mm -hmm. you know, us older people, you know, <laughs> us baby boomers. We just not moving. Yeah, statistically, David, what we're seeing is seniors are living healthier. They're doing a better job of taking care of themselves. Yes. So they're living in their houses longer. Reverse mortgages have really kind of started to increase as far as numbers go, giving people the opportunity to stay in their houses for a little bit longer. But really, the big thing that we're seeing is those seniors just don't want to move and when they look at the cost of incurring a new property, a brand new mortgage, versus staying in their home, right. uh, either one, doing a reverse mortgage, or two, doing some home improvement, that's why we're seeing those baby boomers stay in the houses yeah. a little bit longer. And typically, you know, us baby boomers are usually downsizing, you know. You know, the kids out of the house, yep. time to downsize, which will open up, you know, when you downsize now, the move-up buyers will move into their place. Sure. You know, but they not, since they ain't moving, the move-up buyers are not there. And so it, it affects the first-time home buyers in regards to, you know, it, it's, it's no challenge. movement right now. It's so a big challenge. So everything has to be more to, to new construction right now. And to projections right now is saying in the next, what, Two, three years, three percent. Well, next year they said a, a growth of new builds is three percent. Yes, sir. And this year, and then the next year is supposed to be dropped down to one percent. You know, um, why is that? New construction really is having a challenge from the standpoint of one: if I'm an investor and I go out and I buy a plot of land, you know, for the same cost as trying to put in an affordable house or something that will address for millennials. I can build a four hundred or five hundred thousand dollar house on that same piece of ground, make more money, and sell the same number of houses. So that's one big challenge is what they're going to build as far as affordability. But the second big challenge that builders are having is they just can't find skilled workers to do the work. I mean, that's a challenge, and it's hard to find good trades that'll spread out good enough so that you can keep those numbers increasing well, and keep up with demand. Well, lack of workers, uh, the cost, building materials are going up. That's a fact. And regulations are going up, which means more for the builders. And, you know, builders want that certain spread before they start building anyway. Absolutely. And what's really even more so, everything is based on projections in regards to new construction. So you're looking at 18 months to two years when they really find something they want and then they have to project out that we're gonna make some money during that time frame. 
you know, what the economy looks like. Should we keep moving? So with the baby boomers not moving, it has, you know, been a lack of inventory out there. This pretty, sure. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, the builders just cannot keep up with the demand, especially here in the metropolitan area, people moving in from other states absolutely. that want to buy new houses. It's mm -hmm. really, really been a big challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's about it with our new construction talk and inventory talk. Why don't you give me your information? Hey, I'm Calvin at Fairway Independent Mortgage. You can always reach me direct at 720-364-9726. You can do an application online at www.loansbycalvin.com. Check me out on Facebook and other social medias at loansbycalvin.com. How about you, David? How's everybody get a hold of you? Uh, David Babinon, Caldwell Banker Residential Brokerage, DTC. Uh, my phone number is 303-903. 0395. Once again, 303-903-0395. If you want to get in touch with me um, via social media, just go the Real Estate Man 24-7, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. I love it. All right. Have a blessed day. Everybody. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank Bye -bye. you.